talking about relationships and being carried away by passion and drive. But does that recipe work for everyone? Hmm, I think it depends on your personality and there's a lot to be said for a long, slow burn instead of a quick flash and fizzle. Hmm, yeah, baby. <laughs> but Zakia met up with a performing artist who's definitely in it for the long haul and his name is Harshan Reddy. Stay, give me your heart and I'll keep it Never let go and I'll hold it Just like the secrets you tell now Wait, this could be love if we want it Anything else would be mindless Whichever way that you look now So bad talk about the need to be passionate about what we do but passion can be short-lived so maybe we should think about it as a lifelong love affair. We're about to chat to someone who's been in love with music since the age of 10. Let's find out how harsh and ready sustains the relationship. A few minutes on an album can take days in the studio and in addition to being a recording artist Harshan also writes and produces for major local artists. Harshan isn't behind the microphone, he enjoys spending time in the kitchen, but it's not the best place to have a conversation, so he invited us to one of his favourite spots for a bit of breakfast. Here we are. Seven day working weeks will drain anyone's creative batteries, so Harshan gets a recharge in the natural world. Hey. Hello. Nice to meet you. You too. Welcome. Thank you. This is such a beautiful spot. Yeah, it's fantastic. Are you hungry? I am starving. Hello, hello. Hi. What are you going to have? Um, the fruit stack is great here. It's good? Mm. Okay. Can you make that two fruit stacks? Thanks, man. That was easy. <laughs> now let's start at the beginning. Please tell us about your childhood. Well, I was born and raised in KZN. Me too. I'm also a KZN girl. Oh, really? <laughs> cool. Um, spent most of my life in boarding school until high school. I've been in Johannesburg for 12 years now. Harshan, when and how did you develop your interest in music? I started playing an instrument from a very early age and pottering around. My, my dad had a, an old guitar lying around at home and I sort of started teaching myself to play because I, I grew up in a household where music was always playing. Tell us about your musical training. That's going to be a very short answer. Huh. I've had zero musical training. You mean you have no formal training? Not a day in my life. Self-taught? Completely self-taught. How? Trial and error. I, mean, I just. I just picked it up. I play four instruments. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. What instruments do you play? Guitar, drums, bass and piano. Harshan, how did you develop your career? Um, I got a songwriting gig up in Johannesburg Yay! when I was uh, just after university actually. Thanks man. And uh, which sort of forced me to move up here. And I've been writing professionally ever since. When did you decide to make a career out of music? I don't think that it was a conscious decision. Um, and I think it's something that you're either born with or you're not. Please tell us some of your career highlights to date. There's quite a few to mention, but I mean... Oh, oh okay, there's so many. Just <laughs> you, know? you can't name all of them. <laughs> uh, look, I mean, I enjoyed uh, doing the YFM Live and Rewired. I mean, we, my band and I played to almost two million people live on air, uh, which was fantastic. And then, of course, I did a, I did a gig with the Durban City Orchestra. You know, we, it was a 70-piece orchestra with a four-piece rock and roll wow. band, and it was... We killed it, it was really cool. And you're a songwriter and producer. Please tell us about these disciplines. I write songs for a lot of different artists. Um, a lot of my songs um, are placed on different artists' albums and comp compilations and stuff. 
and I also produce for a lot of artists. Um, more and more of my songs now are being translated for the Afrikaans industry, which is quite fantastic actually, because I mean, it's a huge industry, it's still got a massive following, and it's, it's, yeah, it's great. Who are some of the artists that you've worked with? I've worked on Steve Hoffman's three, last three albums with him, um, with Nia Nell, um, Sterling EQ. Something I've been dying to ask you about, please tell me about your new album. I'm hitting a market at a time now where it's exceptionally uh, competitive. I had to really outdo myself this time. And what is it called? The album's called Maverick. Maverick? Why Maverick? A Maverick is exactly what I am. I go against the flow. I'm an out-of-the-box thinker. It's, it's a bit of that thing, yeah. And what inspires your music? Anything and everything, man. I mean, we're sitting here having breakfast and I could be having a million ideas in my head. I mean, this such a beautiful scenery. I could be inspired by various different things. And how do you relax? I enjoy... <laughs> stuff that anybody else does. I mean, watching movies, spending time with my son, taking my dogs out, you know, going to the zoo. And I have a day planned at the zoo for both of us. Yay, we're going to go to the zoo! I you love like the animals. zoo, I love the zoo. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> and then, of course, cooking. I find cooking quite a therapeutic thing, so I do that whenever I have the chance. You are like the perfect man. He loves cooking, he plays an instrument, you're every girl's dream. Thanks. Is it possible to make a living out of music in South Africa? I get asked that a lot by a lot of younger people and a lot of people are trying to break into the scene. You've got to have a party trick. You've got to have a specialty to bring to the game. Otherwise, you're just going to be forgotten. So that would be your advice to budding vocalists? Absolutely. Absolutely. Push, Maverick. Keep, keep, keep pushing and always be who you are and don't try and be somebody else. So, should we do it? Should we go? Yay, let's go to the zoo. From folk songs to classical to rock, musicians, composers and songwriters have been inspired by animals. So Harshan is in good company. Look at the elephants! Wow, man, check them out. I'm a big fan ever since watching Dumbo. <laughs> <laughs> like they could fly with their ears. No, I love them, man. I've been to the elephant sanctuary, but these are cool. Harshan has discovered a sensitive side to these majestic beasts. You said they're soft. Very soft. I mean, they look all leathery and stuff, but I mean, they, when you feel them, they're just really, really gentle and soft and cuddly. Shall we check out a few more spots? King Julian has become the poster boy for Madagascar's best known mammals. And if any animal seems to be tailor made for the world of showbiz, it's the ring tailed lemur. Domestic cat! I, was, I told you they were cats. What's next? but perhaps because they're unconcerned about what we think of their appearance. Animals help us see our own species through different eyes, which may just trigger a song. Thank you. What animal would you be? Uh, probably a great white shark. Great white? Yeah. Love him. A great white? Oh. And you'll be a monkey. Why? Because you're naughty. <laughs> Harshan, thank you so much for spending your valuable downtime with us and we are really looking forward to the release of Maverick. That's no, my pleasure, man. Thanks for being here.